Hi guys, this is EVP Man with Tablets for Me. And I've been receiving a lot of questions, um, you know, private messages from many of you asking me about the second screen technology that is part of the LG V10. Um, things like what can it do, can you configure it. Um, some of you have even noticed that um, a, a signature has shown up at the very top of the screen. So in this video I'm going to give you a brief tutorial about the second screen, what you can do with it, how you can configure it, and also what kind of personalization is available. Let's check it out. So now taking a closer look at the second screen, let me just zoom in right here for a second. You'll notice at the very top um, for the LG, uh, this is the second screen. And the second screen covers from this part of the screen, uh, from all the way over here up to this point. And it has several things in here. Uh, in this case, it has a signature of, of my phone. And then as I move over, let me see if I can do that, still keep it in focus. Um, it's also going to have several shortcuts. Uh, these are going to be the most recent applications that I used. Now, one of the things that you can do is include other things in there. If you want to be able to configure that, you can go into settings or um, go into the shortcut that I've already uh, entered. And just to make sure that you know where this is at, I'm going to take a step out for a second and zoom out. Um, I have the shortcut on top, but this shortcut uh, is found under the display and second screen. And here you'll see um, several settings. Uh, we'll zoom in to look at some of the, the settings right here. Uh, you have the ability to show, uh, to show it, and if we tap on it, um, several things in there. We'll notice that this is on at all times, right? So you can see the signature that you can see on the top. And in the signature area, you can actually modify the signature. There's several fonts that you can use. You can um, type in a different signature. It's picking up um, the uh, name that I have on the phone or this account. And you could choose uh, several different fonts so that you can personalize it. You also have you have the ability to choose recent apps. And you can change the order. So like the first thing is going to be the signature. The next thing is going to be recent apps. And you can actually move this down and change the order just by dragging it just like this. The other thing that you can do is you can include your music player. The music player is not there by default. So if I choose music player, you'll notice here at the very top, the music player shows up. And it's in the in the order. So first thing I have is my uh, signature, followed by my shortcutted apps, followed by the music player. So you can play uh, music from the top. The other thing is you can do is you can actually add shortcuts, right? So this is going to be app shortcuts. And you notice there's several app shortcuts that came here on the top. So you have your clock, your calculator, also your fitness program, and also settings. Uh, if you go into it, you could also um, configure these. Uh, so you'll notice uh, I have capture. Uh, let me bring that in focus. I have capture. I have clock, calculator, LG health. Um, and you can go in and uh, and uh, either you know choose a different program that you'd want um, in that spot or keep the ones that are there. So simply all you do is select the one that um, is currently occupying that space and then you choose the app that you want to have in that area. So for example, I can switch the capture with Apple Pay and by choosing Apple Pay, it's going to switch the one that was up there on the top. So you can flip those around. So that's another neat option for personalization. Uh, you could also add quick contacts and then these are going to be um, your contacts that are uh, in there, your favorites. So you can modify that and again I can make that the first thing that happens right after signature so I can move that up and make it a higher priority. Um, you could also put events so I can put upcoming plans and with the upcoming plans you'll notice at the very top now I have a message there that I have to call ComEd for a, a meter reading. Uh, so that will show up. So you really have a lot of flexibility uh, with this top area. I'd say based on my experience to date with this feature it's very similar to what Samsung implemented uh, with the Samsung Edge where you had those shortcuts. So this area not only does it serve as a little uh, ticker tape for information, but it also can launch applications, can be a music controller. And then also what ends up happening is if you turn the phone off, uh, you have the date and time is always there. Let's zoom into this so you can see it. You don't get a glare. So that's on there, which is also very similar to what we've seen with the Samsung phones. Um, this doesn't take up a lot of power. I've had it on all night, and it's actually pretty nice to have it there. Uh, as far as any kind of interactions, there's really no interaction uh, that you can really have outside of when you swipe over. There are some controls that you can get in. So you notice that right here, I can quickly get into uh, volume settings, Wi-Fi. I could even turn on my flashlight, which I think is pretty neat because I can turn on my flashlight, and there's my flashlight. Um, simply by using uh, that second screen right there. So again, all you do is swipe over and then you have, you can go into the camera mode. Right, we'll turn that off. 
there. So you only really have um, those four choices to choose, but it's pretty neat that you can access it without having to turn on your phone. So that was a quick demo of the second screen, how you can use it, and some of the flexibility that you get from having that little area enabled at all times. Um, I'll continue to create um, tutorials coming up. I'm actually working on a whole list of little tips and tricks, but I've, I had a lot of demand when it came to what the second screen did. So I hope that uh, you enjoy this video, and if you have any more comments or questions, leave it on the YouTube channel. Thanks again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.